A warm welcome to Andrada Vedic Astrology. Today we are going to talk about Saturn on the Lagna. When Saturn is placed in Lagna, what are its effects? And as per classics, what are the goods and the bads? If the Saturn is afflicted, the results that it can give us. But before that, a big thanks to all of you for liking, sharing and subscribing to our YouTube and Spotify channels and writing in your comments and your suggestions there. When we talk about Saturn, we all know that it's the Karm Karak. We all know that it is the one that shows our breath also in sense that it gives us our life span. Lagna or the first house is a representative of the entire chart and is undoubtedly the most important house of our chart. So when Saturn the Karmkarak is present on the Lagna or Saturn the one that gives us the lifespan is present on the Lagna, what does it bestow on us according to the classics like Brihat Parasar, Hora Shastra, Saravali and Faldipika. When this Saturn is strong, when this Saturn is aspected by benefics, when the Saturn is along with benefics, then this Saturn becomes a warehouse to give us so many things. First and foremost, it makes a person very hardworking and very charismatic. It makes a person very responsible. Saturn denotes a body which is tall, which is lean. It is all about bones and sinew. And this person, especially in the youth, would be a very lanky, would be a very lean person person and will be a tall person. Such a person will have a physique where the person can eat a lot but would still not be putting in a lot of weight. This is if Saturn is in good, if Saturn is a Yogkarak, if it is placed in the Lagna for Libra Lagna or if it is placed on the Lagna for the Taurus Lagna. In such cases, you, or even for uh, the Lagnas of Capricorn or Aquarius, here Saturn will show all these traits definitely. Because here it is either the Yogkarak or in its own house. And if the Saturn is say placed in Cancer also or in Leo and is well aspected, then also it can show these traits even when it is it placed in Sagittarius because then the Lagna is also like that. When we talk about Saturn as the Karm Karak, it shows a lot of hard work. So when Saturn is placed on the Lagna, it will also look at the 10th house. It will aspect that house and it will make a person very strong in their ability to do a lot of hard work. Such people are very determined, whatever they think is right, it takes them a lot of time to come to a thought process, they are not very vocal. But once they come to a thought process, because Saturn here is also looking at the third house, they know how to preserve, they know how to be patient and they know how to carry it forward and do a good job. Such a Saturn also makes a person very learned and wise. And Saturn also gives a person the ability to be responsible for whatever work that they are doing. And these people also are serious. Saturn is a serious planet. And when present in the Lagna, on the Lagna, if it is not aspected or not with a planet like Mercury, which is a jovial planet, then it brings about a sense of seriousness within you. If it is not aspected by a jovial planet either, then also it makes a person very serious and probably not up to a lot of jokes, not up to a lot of pranks. These people are also sober. These people, Saturn is supposed to be one which uh, gives a, a person an ability to be very correct wherever they go. So if you are moving in a business environment, you would be known to be dressed impeccably. This is what Saturn sitting on the Lagna does give a person or Saturn aspecting the 10th house because it is also aspecting it from the Lagna gives the person 
to be. Such people are also said to be good donators without letting others know. And these people do have the ability to care for others. They are always in a frame where they put others before themselves. Such people can suffer from issues of uh, being married or associated in marriage or in relationships with people who are not at par with them. In some manner, these people can be lower in uh, some form, not necessarily just money, could be in knowledge, could be in stature than them and they will be living up with that kind of environment also. But they will learn how to be contentious with their own duties, with their own work. Now, so much so said about Saturn when it is positive, shows its positive side. When Saturn is afflicted and it is present in the Lagna, we can also say that when Saturn say is there for Aries Lagna or when it is uh, there in say Gemini Lagna and all these places because when it is placed in the Gemini Lagna, it is also the 8th Lord and it can give a certain amount of laziness also. Saturn when debilitated and placed in the Lagna definitely shows that a person needs to put in a lot of hard work. When it shows that a person needs to put in hard work, it means that the person can be lazy, the person can have a pessimistic attitude and the person can be very stubborn. It would need a lot from a person, there is a difference between being determined having taken in a call and you are determined about what you have to do. But stubbornness can result in problems for your own self. So such a person needs to come out of that stubbornness. Such a person needs to work towards doing things for others. Such people can also be lonely. There is a difference being alone and lonely. And these people can feel a lot of loneliness even when they are with others. They can be at times they would like to be secluded, they would like to be away from others and this is something they will have to learn how to incorporate themselves with others. Now when we talk about this very Saturn which has been afflicted and is placed on the Lagna, you will find that these people their work gets delayed. No matter uh, how hard they try, they, they find a lot of obstacles in life to encounter and that at times can put them on a very pessimistic, as I said, tangent. So they would have to work harder. But Saturn, to please Saturn, I have made reels that you can always look into and see that there are very small things that we can do that will set our Saturn straight, like just getting things in order, even if we are moving in a, uh, even if we are studying, knowing how to put things back in place, having a routine, all these small things, not just the Shani Puja, yes, that works very well, but these small tips about setting up a routine and maintaining a routine, a time frame, putting your shoes properly because shoes are also uh, Saturn and Putting them properly also is a karak where you are maintaining a discipline about certain things. All these things will also go a long way in setting our Saturn straight. And that a karak or that afflicted Saturn will start slowly but steadily move on the right track. Saturn in the Lagna, if it is afflicted, can also give a problem with finance. Why do I say that? Because Saturn is said to be the ruler of the 11th house, a regular income house of the Kal Purush Kundli. And Lagna has a lot to do with your finance. Your finance is attached with the Lagna also. So if this Saturn is afflicted, a person can have an issue with a regular income. One needs to be very clear on these points. Having said all this, let us take up a chart. The chart that I take up now is that of Atal Bihari Bajpayee Ji. 
here we see that the Saturn here is placed in the Lagna, okay, and this Lagna is the Libra Lagna. So Saturn becomes the Yokarak, and Saturn is also uh, in the point of exaltation, and Saturn also looks at the tenth house. Saturn Rahu combination again. I've made a video said that when people have a Saturn Rahu uh, combination, they rise very high in life. And yes, he was the first non-Congress Prime Minister of India. Again, Saturn for him is also looking at the third house of writing of perseverance. It is because of his patience and perseverance, and his foresightedness because Saturn which is the Kal or the time also has the ability to look deep into time and space and so his foresightedness also brought forward the ruling party now BJP that it is into action. It is also the ability to convey your meaning your word properly because this Saturn is again very strong. Again, it since it is being aspected by Mars, the uh, by its eighth aspect, I will say that yes, there is a certain amount of affliction, and that is also the reason why he was in coma for a long period of time. So we can understand that Saturn, when well placed, gives a person a lot of abilities, a lot of facilities, and can help a person grow and. He also had the ability to write, Saturn also aspecting his third house, his Mercury and giving him an ability to write, albeit at a later date. We take up another example with Saturn in, here we, I would also like to add the Nakshatra bit so that we can understand that Saturn here being in Swati gives a person a lot of courage, a conviction, ability to speak ability to withstand, be the lifeline of whatever organization that they become attached to. So Saturn here gives a person that kind of uh, strong ability. Now let's talk about another case that we are taking. Saturn is placed here in the Lagna and that too in Virgo uh, Lagna and Saturn here is placed in Uttarashad Nakshatra. See I told you Saturn is all about protocol, it's all about discipline, it's all about maintaining hard work and doing what is right and it is the Karmkarak and when it works very well with the Nakshatra, with the Lagna then this Saturn becomes very strong but when there is a little bit of too much like you see it's it's all about protocol with the Uttar Falguni Nakshatra and it is also all about doing things correctly in Virgo and that to Saturn. So that makes a person very rigid in their approach that we will not tow outside the line and that is how we at times need to learn also with uh, how to how we can modulate. But with the influence again of a very uh, benefic planet that is moon, the person would know how to soften their stance at times. Had it been another planet which like uh, a very strong uh, planet which would be looking at Saturn say Mars then and that too from a good house then the person would be very upfront, very strong in whatever they would want to convey. The, the thing is that benefits will help Saturn do its work but in a very soft manner and malefics will also help Saturn do their work but the person will be upfront when Saturn is well placed. But if it's afflicted by Rahu, Ketu and there's too much of Mars effects and all those things, a person is likely to be very lazy, pessimistic and with Mars on Saturn, a person can unnecessarily fight for things that can actually be let go on off. Do put it in charts, see how it works for you and do let us know how you found this video. Come back with another video. Thank you so much. Please hit the bell icon for fresh updates. Don't forget to like, share and comment on the videos and please subscribe to our channel.